has C Dance 1.0 just dethroned VO3? Okay, that's a bit dramatic, but right now the AI video world is buzzing with one big question. Is Seed Darts 1.0 better than VO3? So I ran the exact same prompts that Seed Dance have shown us on their website in VO3, and I think you'll be surprised at the results. So now first we have Seed Dance with a shot of the skier here. Really good. Really good shot of a skier here. Really consistent. VO3 shot of the skier. It's not quite as good. It's a little bit glitchy, so have to give it to Seed Dance on this occasion. A European bride stands alone in front of a vanity mirror minutes before her wedding. So we've got our first one here by Seed Dance. You can see the bride looking in the mirror, just like in the prompt. Then the focus goes from the table to the groom as he comes in. Really good prompt adherence there. Next one here by VO3 from the bride cuts to the table, then pans up and focuses on the groom very briefly. So really good. I'd say that Seed Dance just about won that because it gave us a longer hold on the groom which was a little bit more what I wanted. So in this shot here, it's such a strange shot with chocolate on the head and you can see this is text to video so they both came up with different, slightly different shapes of shard chocolates. The lighting's totally different with VO3 but it's also very beautiful as well. I like the lighting a lot on the first one here with Seed Dance. So we've got Seed Dance with the shot here of the detective coming in you can see it's very consistent on the facial looks. Now we're on to VO3. Show of the detective coming in. Also pretty consistent, I think. See, this is a side shot of the detective. And then we go to the face. Very consistent. The tie though, I think the tie is slightly the tie is slightly different colour there. But the face is the same. Now we're on to VO3. Tie is slightly undone on the guy there. And slightly undone again on the guy there. I think VO3 may even win this one slightly. They're both very good on this shot. And I like the VO3 ones a lot more interesting. Then we've got this uh, neon looking frog bouncing slowly to music. And then the VO3 version, which has got more pop to it, more of a pop colour, and he's bobbing a lot more. I actually like the VO3 one a lot more. And here we are with Seed Dance, the lady going up the stairs. And now with VO3, lady going up the stairs. See, one of the things with Seed Dance is they're having different orientations. They've got widescreen, they've got square, and they've got portrait, whereas VO3 is only in widescreen at the moment. So everything that I've made to compare has been on widescreen but I actually prefer this and now here we are with the shot of Seed Dance with the Formula 1 cars by the Pyramids beautiful shot same text prompt with VO3 also a lovely shot but totally different kind of cars it's envisioned the cars more as off-road cars racing through the desert on track off track which is also really cool there's a lot more kind of dynamic movement in the VO31. There's two shots in Sea Dance here. Cuts to a shot with the cars coming towards you and then away. And then when you're in VO3, just got the cars going away, but it comes out to that like a tracking shot and then comes up as a drone into the air, giving the wide shot. Fantastic. And now this is the robot shot, which is in portrait in Sea Dance. It's not that impressive a shot, really. And if you look at VO3 here, fantastic. So VO3, you've got the shot here of the robot running into this devastation. Then it zooms in to like what the robot's seeing, looking through all the different debris. For a VO3 shot in this shot. Now I've got Sea Dance with this lady in the desert. Really great shot. Lots of expression. Lots of changes there of angles as well. So ladies walking towards you in the desert. Side on view, looks left, then a front on view again. Same shot here with VO3, someone else in the background for some reason. That was fantastic. So now we're going to look at image to video. Obviously I don't have the images that they used in Seed Dance, but I was able to take close to the first frame in these three examples that I'm going to show you from the Seed Dance videos and take them into frames and do frame to video inside of VO3. So the first one we've got here is the Seed Dance one, which is in square of these cars racing. 
great shot, lightning, rain on the track, great prompt adherence. Then VO3, fantastic again. It's really hard to pick between these two. Really good shots on both of them. Then this is Sea Dance's pictures of poppies with light shining through from behind. And VO3's same kind of shot, but tracking left instead of going in. Both amazing shots. So Sea Dance has shot here of two men walking through this kind of strange landscape. And then a similar shot here with VO3, but it was zooming in and on a widescreen as well. And these cut together really well as well, so it's hard to really pit them against each other here. So here we are on the Seed Dance website 1.0, and it's not available yet to use, but this gives you an idea of what their performance is like currently. There's this fantastic video here, which I won't play the sound on. It's incredible, and they've got the prompts here, which we could try out as well. So I have the text to video leaderboard here, and as you can see, Bite Dance is leading on both the text to video leaderboard and also on the image to video leaderboard. And they're right above Google VO3 and also Kling 2.0. Seed Dance adds to our toolkit another amazing text to video and image to video tool, which will soon be in our hands on the heels of VO3 and also Kling 2.1. It's an amazing time to be into creating video and be able to create amazing scenes. Tell me which of these images or videos you thought was the best and if you're excited to get your hands on Seed Dance as well. It's really kind of like a China versus America in terms of the AI video space. We had Kling, we had VO3 and now we have Seed Dance again. What will happen next? We've got Runway as well, obviously that could come into the picture again with a new update and we've got Higgles Field. So many exciting AI video models to choose from. If you'd like to get your hands on more of these tools and get experience with lots of people who are using them, make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment below, which will take you to our AI group for creators. And in that group, we'll be able to interact personally in Google Meets and things like that and to advance our skills in creating videos. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment below and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video.